Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a fun, spooky Halloween charcuterie board. So I went and picked up a few things for this board and let me share with you some of the cheeses, meats, and fruits and breads that I got for the board. Ghost pepper cheddar, cheddar cheese with jalapeno, habanero, and ghost peppers. Brie cheese, Colby Jack cheese in cubes, Three different types of salamis, Italian dry, peppered, and calabarese. Some garlic in herb. Soft spreadable cheese. Some blackberries, some blueberries, some black olives. Blue corn tortilla chips. That blue purple color is perfect for Halloween. Some crackers, some pretzel sticks. Little dill cocktail pickles and some black grapes. I also have some other things on hand. We'll see how it goes while decorating this board. I looked on Pinterest at a lot of boards and it's just using your imagination. So I'm just gonna use my imagination. So just get creative. Doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see me play around and then we'll see the end result. So when I was deciding what to put on this board, I wanted to do the Halloween colors as much as I possibly could. So I have the orange in the cheese. I chose blue and black in the berries and grapes. Another great thing for this board would be figs and plums. So I was thinking of textures, colors, all of that. I went back and forth on adding nuts to the board because one, there were lots of kids there, and I don't know. I was just, I went back and forth. I should have maybe added a little pile of them, but that's okay. For my meats for the board, I would really just kept it to different salamis and pepperonis and made it really simple there. The cheeses, I wanted a brie cheese. I absolutely love brie cheese. And I wanted a really soft cheese that was easy and spreadable, and that's why I chose the garlic and herb cheese. And then the little cube cheese, well that's just fun for the kids. Now if you want to make a Halloween board, you don't have to put it in a skeleton. I just got super crazy and <laughs> thought that would be such a cute idea. You can add like a skeleton hand on your board, I've seen that on all over Pinterest. You can add pumpkins to this. So don't feel like you have to go get a skeleton and fill them up. There's so many ways of doing this. It's just all about placement, placement of color, textures, and you can make it so unique. The ghost jalapeno habanero cheese was a hit. I refilled that three times. I really liked using those bread sticks because they look like bones. <laughs> so having them stick out of the cheese was really cool. Now if you want to add green into the display like I did, I just used some pickles, the, just the baby dills. You can also use green olives and that will really make certain areas of your board pop. So last minute, I decided to add in this Thai sweet red chili sauce. It's so good. It's good to dip anything in. So it's really good with cheese. I added it into a little round silicone cupcake holder and it gave the look of blood. And so that was totally spooky and I loved it. And then to add like a really creepy, folly feel, I used the stems of the grapes and just randomly placed them on the board. And it just gave it the look of just Halloween. Thank you. 
And there you have it, a fun Halloween charcuterie board. If you have ever made one, leave some tips and tricks down below. And if you decide to do one for Halloween, please tag me in a picture. I would love to see. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Happy Halloween!